Does your dog have lexating patella or do you want to know more about what lexating patella is and how it's like to have a dog with lexating patella? Then this video is for you. So I first took notice of Bailey's condition back in 2014, immediately after she completed her shots because that was the first time I took her out for a walk. So I noticed that when she walks a certain speed or she runs a certain speed, she would suddenly hop on one leg or skip. At first, I was worried that she might have caught something on her back foot and true enough, something got stuck in her fur and I thought it was just that. And then she started running again, the same thing happened. So when I got home that time, I immediately did my research and checked what this puppy skipping or hopping would mean and that if I would have to take her to the vet for it. And that was the first time I've heard of laxating patella, patella relaxation, or floating kneecap. So to put it simply, laxating patella is a condition where your dog's kneecap pops out of place and slides from side to side or just to one side. That's why dogs with this condition would do the skipping when the kneecap would dislocate and once it pops back in, then that's when they walk normally or run normally again. It's most common in small breeds like toy poodles, um, Maltese, Chihuahuas, and many other small breeds. And if you want a more detailed medical explanation on it, there is a great video by Dr. Karen Becker and I will link it up in the cards above as well as in the description box below if you guys are interested in watching it right after this video for more information. So some of the common causes of flexating patella would be a trauma, obesity, and of course genetics. I was sure that of course Bailey wasn't obese that time. She was actually a very very picky eater as a puppy and then there was no chance that it was caused by any sort of trauma. So the only thing that my vet and I narrowed it down to was genetics. So lexating patella can be diagnosed through physical examination by your vet where they will literally try to move the patella side to side. It does wiggle, that's normal, but it should not pop and slide from side to side. So at first, our vet said that it might be lexating patella, but we still gave it the benefit of the doubt because she was still a growing puppy and things could still change. It could improve as she gets older. So he asked us to observe it for a couple of weeks and then we went back to have it checked again. And that was when she was officially diagnosed with a grade one laxating patella. Laxating patella can be categorized into four grades. Grade one being the mildest form, which that was Bailey's case, to grade four as the most severe case of the condition. As far as I know, the only way to actually fix a laxating patella is through corrective surgery. Many vets will actually recommend um, corrective surgery for any grade level of laxating patella, but as more and more new studies are popping out of um, holistic veterinary care and non-invasive approaches, so there are options now, especially for grades 1 and grades 2. And thankfully that time, our vet was very supportive of non-invasive methods and uh, focused on quality of life for the dog. And since Bailey was diagnosed with only the lowest level of laxating patella and seeing as she was in no pain or any discomfort whatsoever, our vet did not see the need for any type of corrective surgery and instead recommended a very non-invasive management of the situation. So our goal then was just to prevent the condition from degenerating fast. My vet recommended three things, actually four things, but the fourth one was actually water therapy. But that time when she was diagnosed, we didn't have that kind of service being offered here in the Philippines, so it wasn't an option at all. So we did the three things, weight management and exercise, giving her the right and proper supplements to support her condition, and then a species appropriate diet. So for weight management and exercise, it's pretty obvious that weight management is very important because the heavier the body, then the more strain it causes the joints and bone. And then having a good muscle-toned body through exercise will really help keep the frame firm and prevent um, the condition from worsening. So it is important for your dogs to have proper exercise. Of course, not extreme exercise, okay, but regular walks is very important. So we were given recommended supplements in the past by the vet and I did try a lot of other things that I did through my own research but sadly I wasn't very satisfied with any of them. It was only until I found um, NHV's old timer through a friend, so I mentioned it many times before, that the only reason why I tried NHV was because of Bailey's laxating patella. 
because my friend said they had a specific supplement for it, which was the old timer. So this is their joint muscle and bone support for any dogs with maybe arthritis, joint and muscle pain or any kind of discomfort. So this is their preventive supplement for that. At first, of course, I was quite skeptical in trying it because one, the price is not exactly budget friendly. Also, I was scared. I mean, based it on the name, old timer. I thought that it was a supplement for like senior dogs and stuff. And in my head, my gosh, she's still a puppy and she's already taking medicine for like senior dogs. Like what would that do to her? I cannot say enough good things about the customer service of NHV. They were so nice to talk to. I haven't bought that time and yet they treated me as if I was a long time client. They would ask for information about her condition or what the vet says or whatever I could provide and they would tell me that they would first consult their in-house vet to give an educated recommendation for what to give to her. That was something because it showed me that they really cared and they were sincere about what they are doing. So I took the bait <laughs> and tried it out and it has been the only supplement that I have been using to maintain Bailey's condition. There was a major difference when I started using Old Timer for her, so I really stuck with it. I would have to be honest that our vet did recommend a specific kind of kibble to manage the condition and it was my personal choice to go the all-natural route for raw and home-cooked. Of course, with the approval and support of our vet. At first, it was just me creating my own recipes. So for my own <laughs> peace of mind, I even took online certificate courses from websites like DNM University. Um, do note that they are not an actual school. And even if they're called online certificate courses, and you will get like a certificate once you finish the courses, they're not affiliated with any education body. So it cannot be used as an official certificate course or diploma course whatsoever nor can it be accredited as units if you want to take like an actual nutrition course in any type of school i also joined and supported many groups for all natural care or projects like the dog cancer series of dr becker and rodney habib and many of the like i also read a lot of books from dr becker uh, dr lou olson and many others for my own peace of mind and sanity <laughs> So while the courses, the books, and all the groups are very helpful in, you know, gaining knowledge and self-study and stuff, I still believe that it is important to seek the advice of and guidance of actual licensed professionals practicing pet food nutrition. And it was only recently that I found NHV services for creating personalized pet food nutrition plans. I was scared to look at it at first because it might be as pricey as the others and I was so happy when I found out that it wasn't so I signed up Bailey for it they formulated a plan that supports the ailment of Bailey but at the same time it is also okay for summer the ingredients that she chose for us are anti-inflammatory and stuff that could help support the condition and could prevent such problems and stuff I was also quite skeptical at first because I was worried that I would only be paying for one recipe or maybe a maximum of two or three and true enough you will get three base recipes but aside from that you will also be getting a chart where it's listed down by category of ingredients based on the three recipes and you can mix and match to create more recipes to end keep meal time a lot interesting for you know perfect for picky eaters like these two well no not Bailey just summer my picky eater <laughs> And if you guys are interested in NHV supplements as well as nutrition plan, we have affiliate links in the description box below for your convenience. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and we'll see you again next time. Bye!